he'll be glad or not who knows see here that i got that demon situation under control it turns out he was trying to sell the demon equivalent of girl scout cookies though to be fair i couldn't tell the difference so i bought myself some thin mints and i called it a day now speaking of days let me fill you in on a couple of interesting conversations i've had lately and no no this isn't eavesdropping if i'm actively sharing with you i promise Though it may very well count as snitching, I'm not too sure. But if I end up with stitches later, I'll end up with stitches later. Anyways, this first conversation was between my barista and I. See, I'm heading into Starbucks, looking like the hobo that I am, and I go up to her and I says, <laughs> The usual. In this horrible gruff voice, because I'm ridiculously sick, but I'll be damned if that keeps me from getting my daily dose of caffeine. She gives me this nod, as if I told her it didn't just sound like a troll. And then she just starts talking. Pier nine. She tells me in the most somber voice ever, as if she's trying out for the part of the ghost of Christmas future. I'm so sorry. I said, still sounding like the troll under the bridge. He was the best goldfish a girl could ask for. And that, that tripped me up. Harold was thinking that Pierre was her boyfriend, or a sibling, or some other family member. So of course, I did the most natural thing. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, not Pierre! And of course, now the entire Starbucks is staring at me, and the D and D nerds in the corner all reach for their dice, as if I'm the newest monster that just come lumbering out of the shadows. And the barista just nods, and tears are spilling down her face. And dear God, that makeup being ruined was even sudden than the passing of poor, poor Pierre. He got me through eight breakups. Eight. Oh, Pierre! How could you leave her so? I had cried again, throwing my hand against my forehead like some Shakespearean actor. And by now, I'm quite sure that all the Starbucks is filming us, and some are even at the edge of their seats as if they're dying to know what might happen next. The barista was about to go on when... Bear. The second barista calls my order finally finished. Please give my respects to Pierre. I tell the girl and then take my coffee and go. Later that day, I received an RSVP for Pierre's funeral. For our second story... I would like to tell you of the conversation I had with a dear friend of mine about a week or two ago. We were walking about the park, talking about Halloween movies and scary stories and the like, and so I say, you know, I would very much like to have a horse of bones and a carriage of souls. And she just gives me this utterly disdainful look as if I dumped a bucket of mud on her. Well, that's rather ordinary of you. I would much rather have a witch's broom and her cat. To which I replied, ha, if I'm ordinary, then you're definitely ordinary. Why, if I had to have a witch's cat, then I would much rather have... Zachary Banks. She snorted and then said, well, then I want the Sanderson sister's vacuum cleaner. I did have to admit then that she had won the little argument. I mean, I would love to have that vacuum cleaner too. Magic vacuum cleaners. So much better than Roombas. Mm. Anyways, for our final conversation of the day, this is one that took place just yesterday. In fact, it was between me and my mailman. Now, there have been some spiders rending on our mailbox, but the mailman didn't know that. So each time they've opened the box, there have been spiders. So I'm going down there to get the mail, and he tells me in a very serious, yet shaken voice, I think you should invest in a new mailbox. Oh? Why is that? Because you've got a spider problem, miss. Oh, no, not at all, I had said. I'm just waiting for one of them to admit that they're radioactive so I could become the next spider woman. My mailman doesn't talk to me anymore. Honestly, it's kind of sad. That was the highlight of my day. Anyways, that's all I've got for you. Enjoy the rest of your week and try to make that Halloween candy last. I mean, Christmas does take forever to get here, but don't tell it to my wallet. <laughs>